Bobby Buckets in Washington State with a come from behind victory to break the tie with Colorado. Pick up their fourth Pac-12 win of the season, 69-59 at home trail by as many as 15 points in the second half. And then guess who? Shocker. The two stars stepped up for Washington State. Well, and this is why you got to play out to the very end. Chanel Molina knows this, and she just took the team, put them on her back, and she got this run going in the second half. It started right at the end of the half, and then it continued going into that third and fourth quarter. She just was a monster today. 27 points, seven rebounds, five assists for Molina. How about Borislava Hirostova? Yeah, we are waiting for her to have that breakout uh, minutes and it just happened. It took a while until the fourth quarter, but boy, did it come on when she needed it. Hitting a bunch of threes, taking it to the basket. She's smiling when she shot this one. <laughs> well, I think she knew. She knew it was coming out of a trap and she was wide open and she just felt it. And hearing her teammates behind her starting to yell before it went through the basket. 52%. Look at that second half field goal percentage. And Colorado left a lot at the free throw line. They did. They had an opportunity. I think that'll probably be something that the coaching staff for Colorado talks to their team about. They had opportunities getting to the free throw line to score, but Washington State was able to capitalize, and they were able to pull out the win at home. And so a tie now between Utah and Washington State, in part for seventh place in the league, and those two teams will meet on Sunday, noon Pacific, from Pullman. That's yeah, going to be a fun one. Those two teams, both of those really wanting to get into that postseason play. You heard Chanel Molina talk about it at the end of the game. But, you know, it's going to take getting that win if Washington State wants it or if Utah wants it. It's right out there. It just depends on which team goes out and grabs it. Both ones coming off wins after Utah beat Washington on Friday night. Should be a fun one from Pullman on Sunday.